Two halves at Apogee. That's the reason for the name. It is a scratch built kit, weighs 35 pounds. Flying an Aerotech L2200 green, Mojave green. So this is going to take off pretty Ooh. quick. Does have a solenoid dropped the quad copter the called the Kraken. So hopefully the pilot is ready. It's using a really small 6S 650 milliamp drone racing battery, from my understanding. So we're going to go ahead and launch this. They requested a 10 count, so we're going to give that to them. We'll honor that request. We're going to launch it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Hopefully that quadcopter is not smushed under boost. That was a, probably a good 30, 40 G's off the pad. Okay, I just heard them say drogue at 9,000. I both see of a them. parachute. I see another part. Yep, both of them. A little tracking smoke from the motor. Which so one I'm has the drone? Good. Nice job, Missouri S&T. The booster or the payload? Which one has the drone? The payload. Copy. Okay, so there are two parachutes on that rocket. There's an orange one and a yellow one. So the yellow parachute is the one carrying the drone. And then at some altitude, the drone will be operated. At, at 850 feet, the drone will be released. And they will make an attempt to try to land it on the spot as close as possible. So we will see if this works. See a lot of folks and a lot of technology. So fingers crossed on that one. Is this the servo release drone? Okay, we're going to go to the 40s pads. We're going to go to Chuck first. He's got a new igniter in there. So far right, just in front of me, the red and black rocket. Chuck Mees from Wichita, Kansas. The Stretch Punisher, Wild Man Kit, flying on a K450. Does have electronics on board and GPS. So we're going to launch this in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. That's a nice K450. How about that? So that one so far is over 10,000 feet. No, I lost it. We have main on the lower body too. Okay, that one is under drove. Okay, so we're going to go to pad 47. Let's just mix it up. We'll go largest to smallest on the 40, 40s pads. Pad 47, we have Bob Dixon from Longmont, Colorado. The name of this rocket is Bomb Pop. The reason for the name is red, white, blue, just like the little uh, frozen tasty treat you see at the grocery store. It is a Mad Cow Twitch rocket. It weighs three pounds, flying on a Loki H125. Cocktail is the, the flavor of that. Does have a 500 foot shoot release Jolly Logic. So we're going to launch the bomb pop in five, four, three, two, one, ignition.
Uh, parts looking good. I'm like starting to just see things. Park it over. If there is an event, so this yeah. does have a jolly watch except for 500 feet. So at 500 feet, the Jolly Logic will pull the pin apart, and there it is. All right, looks good on that one. I thought I'd be hearing a drone by now, but I don't hear anything from the Missouri Rocket, so I'm not sure where that little drone is at. Okay, so we're going to go to pad 44.